okay i could not believe that on international women's day gong gong as in while the whole world was celebrating women <laughs> that a member of the house of representatives in nigeria said this it's good to give a woman opportunity but not too much hey we do good to them but we should not give them too much opportunity lord please don't be ah don't be upset they take care of our life they take care of our children they take care of everything they cook for us they did everything for us so he knows all that most of the women they are very intelligent oh, okay so what is the problem with women being intelligent maybe we give them more chance they will one day they will overthrow us they will overthrow king what are they overthrowing we are not trying to overthrow anybody all we are asking for is to be seen and treated as equal human beings because we are i'm addressing this because this man is not the only one with this mentality some people said that he was only joking i know the man can be funny sometimes but in this case he's saying what he believes and i don't think that it's funny people like this man is the reason why nigerian women still don't have a say in the politics of their country even though we are half of the population and that is not right don't you think that something is wrong when more than half of the people in the room have no say in what goes on in the room the decisions being made by men in politics are affecting women and their children the most since 1960 when Nigeria became independent Nigerian men have been the ones running the show and look at where we are today yet they say that women cannot get it right without giving them the chance you they will come here one day you will find all these women in this chamber and they will mess up this idea that women will mess up without even giving us the chance makes no sense it makes no sense we've never had a female governor in nigeria not to talk about female president this is a country of 180 million people only seven are women out of 109 members of the house of representatives they say that women are corrupt and then they name a few people like a madweke as well as Selah Odua. they don't mention ministers like akun yili as if she never existed they forget that with every one woman that the name has corrupt that we can also name 500 men that are even more corrupt in Nigeria, a woman is hardly president of any organization, even in some churches. No offense, my, <laughs> my Christian followers. They will say, choir master, a woman will be secretary. I'm just saying. Except secretary. They, they like to dash your secretary. Do you know that more than 70 countries have had female presidents or prime minister? Denmark, Canada, Australia, Norway, Pakistan, Israel, Argentina, Germany, South Korea, Philippines, just to name a few countries, including African countries like Namibia, Malawi, Mali, Mozambique, Central African Republic. Some people were only there for a few months. I know that. But at least they were there. I think the problem lies with us women, though, because we don't know the power that we have. Majority of the voters, they are women. I was voted, I came here with almost 70, 60% to 70% of my vote is for women. 70% of the people that made him who he is today are women. If women understand this thing well, well, they will put us out. It's very sad that men know the power that we have and we don't know the power that we have. That is why we complain. We complain a lot about the decisions made by politicians, but we don't get involved. Or we get involved from the back. We don't want to be in the forefront. And this is why I've been saying it for a long time that Nigerian women, you need to get involved in the politics of your country. Now, as usual, some men will try to use religion to put you down. You need to be prepared for that. We are not controlling them. That is why God says they should come under us. They will bury them, they will step under us. We will let them stay under our control. Ah, Baba. Please do not. Ah, people say a lot of things in your name. Please, no vex. You see what I'm saying? Now, I cannot address that one on this episode. Ah, we don't have time. This mentality that a man is supposed to reign over a woman, you hear it even among Christians and Muslims, you know? They will always find a Bible verse or Quran verse to justify putting one gender down because they benefit from it. And you know, a lot of women have also bought into that idea. Please, my sisters, next time they quote a Bible verse for you, tell them that Galatians. 328 says that there is no longer Jew nor Gentile, slave or free, male or female. For in Christ you are one. So from a Christian point of view, maybe somebody that is Muslim can help me with a Muslim verse. <laughs> as far as God is concerned, you are equal. You don't get any favoritism from God because you are male. By the way, this is not about Western culture or Egbe Ekin culture. This is about understanding that a human being is a human being regardless of gender. A woman is not created to be under a man. Neither 
is a man created to be under a woman they were made to be helpmates they're supposed to be best friends they're supposed to be each other's confidant her opinion should be equally as important as his opinion so if you have daughters please don't let anyone look down on them or look down on you that you don't have a boy don't even entertain those people because they are ignorant shut them off as soon as they start saying that shut them off some people will come and say they want to pray for you <laughs> they will say ah they will pray for you that baby will be a boy tell them i will take whatever god gives me because i know whatever god gives me will be great amen somebody you don't you don't even want to get me started whether your child is male or female is not important my people the important thing is the kind of life that your child lives your gender does not determine whether you will be successful or whether you will impact lives those people are ignorant you and they're enemies of progress it is your job to train your daughters with the knowledge that there is nothing that they cannot do a lot of people still don't know that it is the man that determines the gender of the baby and please you don't have to have children that you cannot take care of just because you are looking for a boy forget about family names now that we go chop what do people do with this family name thing that they talk about arole what does that mean don't you know that some women even keep their father's name there are cultures even in nigeria where the woman keeps her father's name this is even an age where some people will change their names i'm talking about men now they will say oh i don't want a uh, orisha in my name so the name is not what is important my people if god has blessed you with beauty beautiful daughters ha, you know this thing i'm very passionate about it we can't talk about it today we can't handle it you better take good care of them send them to the best schools invest in them these girls will be great me i am who i am today because my father told me i can be whatever i want to be and i believed him case closed i don't care who tells me i can do it my father told me i can do it and i believe him hey amen somebody guess what i'm just keeping it real <laughs>